right. Good afternoon, everybody, fellow mass speaker, fellow Toastmasters speakers. I remember a couple of months ago when I uh, listened to one of the fellow Toastmasters' speech, and when he said, "Is life a total sum of what happens to us, or is it rather a result of choices and decisions?" I found that question fascinating. I was born in early 1970s, and yes, I'm 28 years old. Your math is correct. <laughs> China at that time was in the middle of cultural revolution. My parents were sent to the countryside where they were supposed to be, quote, re-educated by the farmers, the working class, the peasants. So I spent the first part of my childhood in the countryside. I didn't have toys, nobody did. We didn't go hungry, but the meat was only for holidays. So naturally, childhood, well, in mid-1970s, Chairman Mao died. Chairman Mao is kind of the Chinese equivalent of Joseph Stalin. Mm -hmm. So at the time, he had been the ruler of the nation and the leader of the Chinese Communist Party for almost 30 years. When the news came through the broadcast, through the broadcaster to everybody in the village, everybody cried or mourned as they were supposed to. I was about five years old, so my mother kept me at home for a few days just to make sure that the little child didn't chance, laugh, and boo-boo, or, or, or giggle, and got to report it up. <laughs> So by nature, childhood is a sum of what happened to me in that case. As I grow older, I needed to start to make decisions. The first major one came when I was graduating from high school. So I needed to decide which university to apply to and which major to study for. In high school, I was most of the time a good student in the sense that I did well with tests and exam. China's uh, college admission process is such like as based upon and purely based upon one exam, something similar to SAT. But we do not consider anything like a high school GPA or extracurricular activities. But my goes, I was very, very lucky. I did really well in that one exam. Actually, I had the highest score in my city that year. So I got to attend one of what, my top choice university. As for major, it was early 1990s when China just opened up to the world. So I figured English would be the most sought after skills to have, right? To communicate with the world. Yeah. Major will be English. Brilliant idea. The words seem to make perfect sense until later I found myself stuck in a separate job in an American company. I abominated that job. <laughs> and tracing back, I hated, I abominated my decision to major in English. The fact that I was able to attend a top university actually made me abominate that decision even more. For years, I regretted and I resented that decision. In early 2000, I came to the United States to study for my MBA. So throughout the application process, the most frequent asked question is, why an MBA? I made up answers I no longer remember. But deep in my heart, I knew that there's only one reason, one real reason. I wanted to correct the mistake I made. I wanted to learn some real knowledge which I can build my career upon. After graduation, I went back to China and started my career as a financial analyst. But whenever I look at my co-workers in finance, I felt inferior. I felt like they are the real finance people they major in accounting or finance. They know that the credit is inside out, they work magic in Excel. I felt like I was almost a fake. Yes, I had an MBA, but... 
So I started to study for the Certified Management Accountant course. I did that for a couple of years, got my CMA, Certified Management Accountant. A few years later, I still felt that's not enough. I passed the CPA exam, I got my CPA. Finally, I felt confident in myself in the professional world. Today, if you ask me, do I still regret that decision? If I have a choice, if I could go back in time, I would choose a different major, definitely. <laughs> but I also realized that my career, as well as my life, had become the total sum of the mistakes I made bitterness I tasted, and the struggle I went through. <laughs> Those made me who I am, and it took me where I am today. Thank you. Oh.